welcome to Insta Mojo short tutorials. As promised, we are back with the third and last part of our SEO series. In our last videos, we have covered what is SEO, why is it important, basic SEO settings and setting up custom meta tags. You can find the link for the part 1 and part 2 of this series in the description below. In today's video, we'll discuss Google Webmaster. Google Webmaster is a tool designed to let you know how search engines view your website and its content. In doing so, it also helps you uncover issues which would have otherwise gone unnoticed. It is a free tool which tells you stats you need to know and improve for your store. Here's why you should opt for it. It's free and easy to use, keeps you up to date with quality guidelines, suggests HTML improvements, provides useful keyword insights, suggestions and errors on sitemaps, tips and stats on mobile usability, links to your store, and tells you how fast your site is. All this data and suggestions combined can really help you improve your site's performance on search engines. In order to use Google Webmaster for your Instamojo store, follow these steps. Step 1. Log into your Instamojo dashboard. You need to be a premium store user in order to use the SEO settings. You can buy the premium subscription by clicking here on subscription plan and choosing the best plan for you. Step 2. Find SEO on the left hand side panel and click on Google Webmaster. Step 3. Click on add site to Google Search Console and then click on connect with Google Search Console. Doing this will let Google Webmaster connect to and read your store information. Click on back. Step 4. We now need to verify the ownership of this store. In order to do so, click on verify your website on Google Search Console. Follow the step-by-step -step instructions on the page to get an HTML tab from Google Webmaster. Paste it here and click on submit. You also need to click on verify here in the Search Console. You will now be able to access all data from your store here. Step 5. The last step. Once your store is verified, you also need to give the Search Console a list of all the URLs that are a part of your store. Such a list is called a sitemap. It would include URLs to all pages on your store, that is, product pages, category pages, about us, FAQs, etc. You can easily do so by selecting sitemap operations and clicking on submit sitemap. Your sitemap gets automatically submitted. You can see the status of the same on your Google Search Console too. Be sure to keep an eye on your Search Console for any errors and keep updating it to enjoy the benefits of an SEO friendly site. We will keep sharing such tips in our upcoming videos. Stay tuned.